Welcome back everybody. Today we are looking at another product review. It's the Broadway Limited K4S. This is a 462 locomotive and it's equipped with DC, DCC, and Paragon 3 sound. Now, for those of you who don't know, Broadway Limited's Paragon 3 sound is the latest in the Paragon series and it uses a subwoofer, which is optional, to supplement the sound, get the deep basses. Now you may have seen this in some of my other reviews, but if you haven't, that's basically the gist of Paragon 3. MSRP on this is $449.99, so we're going to look at what you get in this steam locomotive from Broadway Limited starting right now. As usual, we start with the unboxing, Paragon 3 box, nice gloss finish, the end here, there's the item number, and some information if you need to pause and take a look. Broadway Limited has a two-year warranty if you sign up online, which is very, very rare in this industry. You have an exploded parts diagram, or exploded view diagram as they call it. This is for the tender on one side, the locomotive on the other. Manual, nice long filled with functions. Broadway Limited takes advantage of all 28 functions as you can see there. Again, nice chances to pause if you need to look at more. CVs, talks about CVs down there. 29 pages, not to include the notes. In the manual, manual will tell you a lot. There's the locomotive itself. You have traction tires, little tool there, an extra coupler, I believe it's a coupler to put on the pilot. You have a funnel for the smoke, but Broadway Limited no longer includes smoke because of some customs issues coming from overseas. You've got the tender wrapped in plastic and looks like the PRR, whoop, Pennsylvania Railroad logo fell off the front. That should be an easy fix. Stuff happens in transit, so we'll get that adjusted here once we take it out, but unboxing is for that reason, so you can see what's going on. So I'll get this all unwrapped, and we will uh, take a look here. The locomotive. Tender. Pretty heavy little guy, and Broadway Limited's pulls. Broadway Limited locomotives pull very well, so I'll get the uh, PRR plate back on the front here and then I'll let you guys know how difficult that was. All right, just a quick dab of glue in about a minute and this was set with the uh, PRR logo on the front. Just uh, beware, these things are very, very fragile. They're three dimensional from the smoke box door so they can easily come out. And speaking of smoke box door, there you have it with the PRR logo. Um, you have the high mounted headlight the road numbers on the side of the headlight, and you have non-operating classification lights here. Dynamo up top, hand rails. You have the pilot here with the coupler, plastic coupler right here, coupler cut lever, and you have the lead trucks right under there. Um, smokestack, obviously there. Bell mounted on top. Got a walkway with a safety tread get the drivers lead trucks and trailing trucks here all sorts of piping on the domes here and all along the boiler you have towards the cab rivet detail adorning the top and sides there's the trailing trucks and a bunch of piping there and you have a vent roof vent that opens and closes do you have backhead boiler detail, which you can catch a glimpse of right there with cab figures installed on both sides. You have the deck plating here, which is adjustable. You've got your connections, female connection and clamp to the tender, which we'll go over in a second. There's the other side detail. 
All right, we got a short little tender here, but we'll go over the details. There's the male connection to the harness I just showed you. And the coal, realistic looking coal load. Coal doors here, area that you connect the deck plating to, step ladders. River detail along the side, Pennsylvania along the side here. Truck detail on the tender. Got some bracing for the coal load up top here. Classification lights that are non-operational and rear marker light that I believe is operational. We'll test that in the operation segment. Ladder going up top, water hatch, more river detail up top. Rear coupler. And you've got coupler cut levers in the back. These are actually uh, metal couplers it looks like. So, correction from earlier. And there you have the other side of the tender. That covers it for detail. Let's go into operation. And for Broadway Limited locomotives, you just simply move it on address 3. Starting out here. I just quickly moved it and put it back to 0. The headlight, you hear the dynamo starting up here. Let's go ahead and listen to a few quick sounds, not all 28. I'm trying to keep this somewhat quick. So we'll go bell. Turning it off, you can see it slows the momentum of the bell. Whistle. Well, you can play it really short or long. If you hold it long, it kind of tapers off. Yeah, it's doing that by itself. Playing uh, by itself when you hold it for a few seconds. Air pump is F4. So you can get grade crossing and a bunch of different sounds. Coupler slack. These doggies are all loaded. Are we going to be able to fill up water and feed first? All right, we'll look ahead. Pull in the center, Sonny. Okay. We've got to move those cars to the dock yard. Sure, if they're clear in the yard there, Roger, they are over. Okay, Roger. You got radio chatter. Lots of great sounds. So we'll go ahead and get this moving at slow speeds. You can see the synchronized puffing smoke, so we're going to go ahead and move it at one speed step here. Here's the chuff. Move it to two speed steps. A little hesitation at one. Looks like two, it clears out. Three. Four and five. We're going to reverse it. One reversed. Two. Three. Four and five. Smooth operation at about speed step two with absolutely no start voltages tampered with. This is directly out of the box. Here's a live pull test set on ounces. Holy smokes. A 7.9 ounce pull test. 7.9 ounces, that is insane. Just a quick reference, they say, and I just heard this in one of the comments, that every ounce is about 15 or so normal sized freight cars. So if that's the case, you've got over 100 car consists that this could pull. All right, we've got the weight here for you to see live, one pound, seven ounces. 
or 23 ounces, or 650 grams, or 0 0.650 kilograms. So very, very robust locomotive in both pulling power and weight for something so short. Well, that'll do it for my review of the Broadway Limited K4S steam locomotive. Two things really stick out to me on this review. One is the immense pulling power Broadway Limited locomotives have. Insane in terms of industry standards, especially packed into even short locomotives. You don't have to worry about pulling with these Broadway Limited locomotives. The other thing is, with discounts out there, and even at the MSRP, the price for Broadway Limited steam locomotives is still greater than the industry average on steam locomotives, or lower, I should say, than the industry average on steam locomotives. It's a very, very good priced locomotive, and you get a lot of value. And then you got the Paragon 3 that can augment, and you heard the amazing sounds out of that. It just kind of gives you that trackside feeling. They put cab figures, which I've heard a lot of commenters talk about in the past, and it's just a great locomotive all around. Had to glue on a part, oh darn, you know, I'm sure some people would be just up in arms about that, but come on guys, stuff happens to these delicate models that we have. Took two seconds to glue it back on, set for a minute, done. So overall, I'm very, very impressed with this locomotive, very, very impressed with everything Broadway Limited is doing in terms of the thinking outside the box and all these cool things that also brings kids in the hobby because we need that. So good locomotive. Check it out if you'd like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.